The hottest golf coaches on the PGA Tour are Michael Bennett and his teaching partner, Andy Plummer. This talented team invented a geometry-based swing model that contradicts almost everything being taught in the game today. Golf Life traveled to the beautiful Jack Nicklaus Signature Design Cherry Creek Country Club, where Mike was conducting an exclusive clinic for members. We asked Mike to fill us in on what he calls the stack and tilt swing method. Historically, all the books and the uh, comments made usually on TV about what someone needs to do first to become good are, in my opinion, in Andy's opinion, uh, backwards. Uh, we're taught that the fundamentals are the grip, the stance, the posture, the ball position, the alignment. And when you watch, go to any tour event and you look at the guys out on the range, everybody's got a different grip, a different setup ball position's different, they're aiming different, so you can't classify those as fundamental if everybody's doing them differently. So what we had to find out is what links all these good players together, and the first piece that links them all together is their ability to hit the ground in the same spot. That was the first piece. To be any good at this game, you've got to be able to control where the club hits the ground. Then the second thing that links all the good players together is their ability, they can hit the ball far enough to go out and play the golf course and have a chance to shoot a decent score. So there's some pieces that are involved with hitting the ball farther. That would be like taking the hands inward versus going back in a straight line. So hitting the ball in the same spot on the ground, or hitting the club in the same spot on the ground, then hitting the ball far enough. And then the last piece would be all those acquired feels you see the good players have, how they hold the club, where they aim the club face, put the ball position, the handle location, how they aim to um, fit the shot pattern that they're trying to hit. So those are the pieces that we teach last. Change all those small little details, but for somebody to get really good, like we're out here today with different handicapped players, for them to get better the fastest, they need to be competent at hitting the ground the same spot and hit this ball farther. So the first piece in controlling where that club hits the ground and having some precision in doing that would be turning the shoulders in a circle. And what we're told, or I read in the magazines and listen to on the TV, is that you have to stay in the same spine angle, when in fact they should be saying you need to stay in the same inclination. The spine's actually changing its tilt throughout the whole swing to stay turning in a circle on that incline. So that blows people away right away because you say the spine angle's moving all around and they think you're crazy. But in fact, that's, what, that's how we've measured it. The spine is tilting sideways and raising up in the back swing and the spine is tilting to the right and straightening up again on the through swing to turn in a circle. If I start tilting sideways as I turn back, my shoulders stay stacked over my hips. So that's where the term stack and tilt came from. You're stacked up at a dress, and to stay stacked, you're tilting. This model is to hit the ball the farthest straightest to shoot the lowest score. We would, we would design a different model or different technique if we were just trying to hit the ball the farthest every swing, or if we were trying to hit the ball the straightest, we'd be using like a putting stroke. So you have to be careful when you, you explain to the players that this is designed to hit the ball far and straight. If somebody wanted to just get the basics uh, and hit the ball better, I would always just suggest uh, no weight moving back, the right leg straightening with the hand path in, and then the through swing, the hips tucked on underneath you without the head going forward. To find out more about Andy Plummer and Michael Bennett's stack and tilt swing, visit PlummerBennettGolf.net.